Christmas is over and next up is New Year's. And for many of you that night, hors d'oeuvres are going to precede the champagne. And why wouldn't they? And we've got some healthy suggestions for you in this week's Health in a Hand Basket. In for Kelly Mueller, who is taking some time off, is Teresa Wing. She's Director of Community Health Initiatives at the YMCA of Greater Rochester. Teresa, you've been in with us before. So welcome yes. back, first Thank of all. Thank you. It was St. Patrick's Day. Right? That's right. <laughs> that, yeah. So you, you've, you're tasked with creating hors d'oeuvres that people with diabetes or people who are trying to watch their carbohydrate intake can enjoy uh, at the same time they'll feel satisfied while eating them right right and it's a it's great to have these recipes from diabetes.org because um, a lot of times you're you don't have control over what's at the party that That's you're going true. to so. Mm -hmm. so you bring this and yes. this is your way of saying look this is what we're gonna eat <laughs> it smells delicious so I'd be happy with the aroma alone um, we have mini crab bites, which are on, served on cucumbers, Good and idea. then we have um, black bean and mango salsa, which is served in the lettuce cups, or you can bring the um, garlic crisps mm -hmm. and dip that in the salsa, and um, that would be delicious, too. This salsa looks, it doesn't have all like, the consistency of a salsa you would see like in a jar. It's more... Um, Oh, I don't even know how to describe it, but it, it is a salsa, though, right? Yep, mm -hmm. it's um, mango and black beans and red peppers mm. and um, lemon juice and vinegar. So oh. lots of lots of cr good flavors. The direction said that it would be a really good idea to chill it overnight so that the flavors get more in into the um, kind of blend in. Yeah. One. Oh, that's a yeah. good idea. The Boston bib lettuce cups. Why is that kind of lettuce good for this recipe? Um, because it holds the the salsa definitely better like a cup yeah mm -hmm. um and doesn't fall out so. <laughs> your spring mix isn't going to work with that <laughs> yeah, right? yeah no, not so no. much it does make cute little cups so you, people i think always want that sense of like all right how much am i supposed to take and probably serving uh, size is we you know that's we always key. think definitely. we should take more and we're like oh wait no that's a serving oh, okay good reminder so what makes this appropriate for people with diabetes so it's lower in carbohydrates so serving the salsa in the the lettuce cups is great because the lettuce has virtually zero carbs mm -hmm. so um, the, the person who's eating that won't have to worry about the carbohydrates and that and then serving the crab um, mixture on the cucumbers is also the same idea that where you're not getting the carbohydrates from a cracker and then people who are not so um, concerned with the carbohydrate intake could eat both or either with the garlic crisps and not have to worry I so like much. That. So you're I like that. keeping in mind everybody. I often think of mayonnaise when we think of like a, a crab mixture like that. Is there mayonnaise in there? Or Just something a, li else? a little bit. It's only okay. a third of a cup for the whole um, recipe so it's it's not very much and I'm not a mayonnaise fan so I would it, it would be something yeah. that I would really like much better and it has mustard in it Dijon mustard in it really so, yeah so I think that gives it some more flavor you There's know a lot I'll, of be, people, I'll, be the, I'll be the judge of that yeah. <laughs> a lot of people mind. this time of year who are we've, you know they've had so many cookies do you have a lot of people coming to you saying all right I need to detox my diet I've had so much sugar so many sweets at all these parties and whatnot and people are saying I want to take a break what do you advise to them I advise to definitely look at um, for recipes that are more like this that incorporate vegetables right. maybe and then some of these flavors the, the spices the the herbs um, that you can add to the vegetables to help them be more flavorful but at the same time there are people who are saying I'm gonna just X out all the sugar from my diet cuz I'm gonna you, you don't want people doing that right right it's it's definitely a moderation and when you eliminate any food group completely you're probably setting yourself up for not successful okay um, right it, so it, so have a little you got to have some yes, definitely okay Jen. great mm, so good. Jen's having a moment over mm. there she's I'm gonna try one I'll try mm. one of these these are the, the cucumber um, they're mini crab, crab bites okay mini when it comes crab, to bites. crab um, uh, there's canned crab there's fresh crab any recommendation in terms of health um, probably at your local grocery store, you can get, uh, cra it's f like fresh crab meat yeah. that, that's canned and already, already prepared for you, so you don't yes. have to break uh, it up. And um, probably lower in sodium than a canned crab, so that okay. would be more oh. healthy. Good to know. Um, and then you could go out and buy <laughs> crabs and, and cook them down and, and go through all of that, but it's much quicker if you get the, mm -hmm. the stuff that's done for you. Teresa, it's always great to see you. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much. It. Thanks. Great especially, advice. Especially when you br she brings that. To I know. Crab it's, really, it's really, really Delicious. good. Delicious. Weather, traffic, local headlines coming up next. Stay with us.